Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in the last video, we discussed about some of the map functions, right? So we can discuss remaining map functions in this video. So this is our map component and we discussed few of the map functions on previous videos. So now we'll discuss numeric map functions. So we have number of numeric map functions here. I'll explain each and every numeric map functions clearly. So first we have math absolute value. So math absolute value will give you the exact value of the any numeric value. So after that we have math add. So math add is used to add any two values. Math add function allows you to add two values which is coming from the source system suppose your target system asks you to populate one value by adding two values from the source system okay so from source system you are getting a and b okay so your result will be a plus b so similarly math subtract if you are getting a b values and target system asks you to subtract b value from a so in that case a minus b i'll show you how to do these things on boomi after that math multiply a and b values you are getting a from one field and then b from another field a multiplies with b and math divide a b a divided by b okay i'll show you how to configure these functions on boomi now so math absolute value just click on that and then okay so if you are getting any integer values that value you need to map here and then result map to the target field so boomi will send the absolute value to the target system okay so after that math add for time being i'm adding two values here a and then b okay so from a you are getting some number okay so target system ask you to add these two fields a and then b and then you need to populate that result of the add value to the one of the target system so that time you need to choose math add and then value to a and then value to add is b and then result will be i'm adding one more field numeric result and here you need to map this result to the numeric result okay so similarly math subtract math multiply and then math divide okay and after that we have math seal so math seal is nothing but it rounds value up to the nearest whole number suppose if you are getting 1.2 value and your target system ask you to send exact whole number nearest whole number that time you can choose math seal number okay after that math floor rounds values down to the nearest whole number which means suppose if you are getting 3.546 value from the source system and target system ask you to send nearest whole number that time you need to choose math floor math floor rounds value down to the nearest whole value math seal value rounds value to the nearest whole number okay and after that math set precision so this is one of the map function numeric map function which truncates accordingly to the number of decimals indicated in number of precision place okay suppose if you are getting 42564 value from the source system and then you set number of precious as 2 so boomi will send final output as like this precision is 2 right so that's why it give dot zero zero okay suppose if you are getting this this type of value 24.3561 and you set number of precision as 2 so it will send 24.36 okay after that we have running total numeric functions okay running total numeric functions is nothing but suppose you are getting uh, age 1 value age 2 value and then age 3 value and target system ask you to send uh, one value to the another value and previous values to the next value so in that case you can choose running total numeric functions and you will get output as like this so first you are getting age 25 so the same age will populate here after that you are getting 50 so boomi will 
add this 50 to the 25 so total 75 so after that you are getting 500 so Bhumi will add this 500 to 50 and then 25 so total 575 so this is how you will get output okay suppose if you are getting single value Bhumi will send single output so after that we have sum sums the values for an element in a document this map function sums the values for an element in a document okay suppose you are getting three ages values 25 50 and then 500 so earlier running total value will give you the three values but it will add first value to the second value and then first two values to the third value right but some numeric function will give you entire value at a time so 25 plus 50 plus 500 575 so after that we have count count numeric map functions so it will give you the count of the fields age to field to count result to total so in this example we have total nine ages one two three four five six seven eight nine so the result will be 9 count result will be 9 so after that we have line item increment okay it will increment one by one so this is one set of person details this is another set of person details and this is third set of person details okay so it will increase one by one suppose if you are getting nine set of person details it will increase to it will give first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, however you are getting from the, from the source system, the same count will increase here 1 by 1. So, after that, we have sequential value. So, sequential value is nothing but it will give 1, 2, 3 sequential values it will give. So, based on the input fields. Okay. Okay. So, this is about the numeric functions. Format, running total, sum, count, line, increment value, sequential value, math, seal, math, divide, divide, math, seal, flow, set positions. All these are the numeric functions. So, if you have any doubts, please let me know in comment sections regarding these numeric functions. Okay. So, after that, we have properties map functions. So, to discuss about these properties map functions, we should know properties, what is property and then types of properties on Bhumi. So, in coming videos, I will discuss uh, these properties. So, that time you can get to know what is this properties and how to set or get these values. So, after that, we have string map functions. So, under string map functions, we have so many standard map functions left character trim right character trim white space trim string append prepend concat replace remove upper to lower lower to upper and then string split suppose if your target system asks you to trim the left characters that time you can choose this one if you want to trim right characters you can choose this function if you want to trim white spaces from the string source string you can choose this one if you want to append something to the source value, you can choose. If you want to prepend, you can choose this one. If you want to concat two values, you can choose this one. If you want to replace any value with any another value, you can choose string replace. If you want to remove any one of the value from the string, you can choose this one. If you want to convert uppercase letters to lowercase, you can choose this one. If you want to convert lowercase to uppercase, you can choose this one. If you want to split any one of the string, you can choose this string split. I'll show you some examples now how you will get. Okay. So these are the string functions. So first left character trim. It removes the characters on the left until it is number of characters specified in fixed to length tab. Okay. So you are getting crocodile from the source system. Okay and you set fixed to length value is 5 and you choose left character trim so in that case up to 5 letters it will trim from left side so the result will be o d i l e so up to here it will trim from left side 1 2 3 4 5 up to o d i l e value it will populate in your output suppose if you select right character trim and if you pass 6 as fixed to length value at the time it will take 1 2 
3, 4, 5, 6 up to CRO, COD value it will populate as output. Suppose if you are getting any white spaces from the source system it will trim white space trim function will trim the spaces okay and string append. So string append is nothing but if you want to append any value to the string it will append. So for baby, if you trying to append goats, goats will append to the babe. So baby goats. If you set fixed to length value as 6, it will add only baby 0. So this is the 6 characters, right? Yeah. So after that string prepend. If you want to prepend any characters to the original string, it will prepend. So baby is the original string and then shark is the character to prepend. So shark baby. If you fix length as 7 baby ARK it will append only ARK value. After that we have string concat. You are getting multiple values fried chicken and then wings. So delimiter there is no delimiter value. So in that case string concatenation will concat fried chicken wings. This is how it will concat. So after that string replace. So you are getting raining dogs and cats from the source system and you are trying to replace cats with bugs so that time raining dogs and in the place of cats you will get final output bugs and next we have string remove cats eat birds string to remove eat if you pass string to remove as eat you will get cats birds as output string to lower so you are getting bob so it will convert all uppercase characters to lower cases after that we have string to upper so eat your vegetables so this is original string and Bumi will convert this lower cases to upper cases eat your vegetables so next we have string split so you are getting robots and bunnies as input original string this is the source value so string split function will split these values into three robot as first value and then and as second value and then bunnies as third value you will get three outputs okay so this is about the string map functions so after that we have user defined map functions so as i said earlier user defined map functions use it to perform multiple standard map functions right so for that we need to create one component user defined map function component create new function okay so here you need to change function name function and any one of the field for which field you are going to use this user defined map function output uh, name okay just for time being i gave name and first your target system ask you to convert those letters to uppercase so I'm selecting uppercase okay so after that they ask you to perform string concatenation and string concatenation and if they ask you to concat based on any delimiter the delimiter value you need to specify here and if they ask you to perform any length restrictions that value you need to specify here otherwise you can leave as it is and input values which input values you are concatenating input 1 input 2 you can specify these naming conventions however you want ip1 ip2 or op1 op2 or uh, not the mandatory naming conventions however you want you can specify that naming conventions here so as per my convenient i gave ip1 and then ip2 okay and then okay okay so from input you need to choose you need to add first name last name so first so for first name they ask you to convert uppercase so i'm mapping uppercase that uppercase result to ip1 and again if they ask you to convert last name to uppercase as well that time you can just copy that one and then paste it here and you can map last name to uppercase and this value to ip2 and final result to name okay and i'm saving this map function 
so you can see that map function here so this is how you need to configure user defined map functions so this is all about map functions hope you understand today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post a video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye